What are you in for? I got a bad heart. If I could give you my heart, Homer, I would. Shut up, Flanders. Gotta love this song. Shake myself a soda. I want to get into this second movie. First, I need to get the, the login going. Pay for Lisa's braces. People stop. We can't give up our dental plan. All in favor. All opposed. All in favor. All opposed. All in favor. All opposed. Who keeps saying that?
hit him, Philly. forgiven. Four strikes in a row. You got a perfect game going. Miss. Miss. Sorry, I was calling the waitress. Ah, uh, this split you sold me is making me choke. Hey, spare me your gutter mouth. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Hello. Kids, turn off the TV. I have some bad news about Lenny. than I expected. Apologies to anyone who stuck around. But... They're all bangers, Alex. Dank Muse is not, not known for creating music that isn't definable as a banger.
Alrighty then, we are back, and we are playing a little bit of Belcher in Modern. So, with the release of um, Zendikar Rising, we got an influx of new cards. The modal double face cards, or MDFCs, all of these are a spell or a creature. Sorry, spell in magic terminology is any anything that is in the land, basically. Um, on one side and a, and a land on the other. Um, the two mythics, Turn Timber, Symbiosis, and Sc Shatter Skull S Smashing, can uh, be untapped for the price of three life, and the rest of them are all mandatory tapped. So, people got interested in the fact that you can Goblin Char Belcher people out of the game with a deck that is entirely filled with uh, non land cards. Um, we also have the interesting card Recross the Paths, two and a green. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a land card, which we will never do. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That is the part we're going to take advantage of because this lets us stack our deck entirely. When we stack our deck entirely, the card we're going to put on top is Reforge the Soul. Reforge the Soul uh, has a miracle cost and it says each player discards their hand then draws seven cards. When we do that, um, we're going to set up whatever we need to instantaneously win the game um, with that turn. So just a bunch of rituals, Simeon Spirit Guides, maybe a Blood Moon, whatever it is that we need to win the game at that point. So we can just naturally draw into a Belcher and try to get that set up and take our opponent down with it. Or we can hit that Reforge the Soul, Recross the Paths combo. We also have Defense Grid to lock out our opponent's counter magic. And then in the sideboard, it seems like we do have the ability to juke into uh, Undercity and former Thassa's Oracle. I'm not exactly sure in which context we're going to be wanting to do that, but it's certainly possible. We'll figure it out as we go. So let's get moderning with a little bit of Belcher. Mm-mm-mm. My beautiful Nassau sour soda recipe that I created myself, which is a wonderful, wonderful anachronistic name. Goes great with rum, but it's great without. ASA 1986. We're on the draw, we've got one, two lands. None of it is red. Um, I think we're gonna keep this. Just need to find a red mana and uh, a belcher and we're good to go. Birds of Paradise, all righty. Hold on a second. Yes, Midge? Parcel. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks, super. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff off of Amazon, including a new watch. That's going to be fun. A uh, Fitbit. Oh, and there's my red mana that I needed. Uh, this would be great to kill the Birds of Paradise, but I actually don't have the ability to play any red mana out on turn one. So we'll play this uh, Spiked Field Cave. Boop. Uro, very well. So defense grid looking like it's going to be a pivotal card in this matchup. Unfortunately, unless we draw one of the mythic lands, yeah, we're not going to be able to play anything this turn, which is fine. Oh, fine-ish. So against Bant... Birds of Paradise Uros this is probably some kind of stone blade variation. If I had to guess. Oh, it's got that swanky Birds of Paradise.
Blood Moon is interesting in this deck. I guess we don't have a lot of green at all that we actually want to cast, and we can still play the lands on their flip side um, after. Do I want to play Manamorphose first? I think that I do. Probably going to let it resolve. Yeah, we'll go red, green. Well, that's Scotch, unfortunate. Defense grid. So we're going to get rid of one counter with the defense grid. Probably Force of Negation. Maybe Mana Leak? Spell Queller! Ooh! Yeah, this is some kind of slow blade deck. I want to play a tap land. Half the turn. Oh boy. Well. They only have one card left in hand. They are going to be able to use their Waterlog Groove to draw a card. So that's something. No blockers. Um, I think we're discarding Blood Moon here. I don't think it's going to be particularly effective at this point. I'm going to sack the Waterlog Groove. So potentially looking for more of a clock or just more interaction. Okay, so we could go ritual, ritual, ritual. Reforge the soul. I would have, so this goes plus one on each one. So I go one, two, three, four, five. This doesn't really get me anywhere. Um, Although I suppose I could draw an untapped land uh, and another ritual if I uh, tap my Tangle Veil. So. On the downside, they're going to get to draw seven. So. Let's hope this doesn't bite me in the ass. Oh no! No! All right, well, you could always just draw. Oh, 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 I need to play another thing. Oh, I can't play the Iron Crag feet. Well, maybe we'll, oh, right. Spellcaller's gonna make me discard a card. Yeah, I think we're just dead here. Yikes. <laughs> force negation decks are out in force. So this might be a quick leak, but I am okay with that. Uh, the question is, do we want to interact with them? And in which way do we want to juke? I think Bolt is definitely a great card to have in against the Spell Queller deck. Um, Whereas Veil of Summer is actually not all that useful. So we'll probably go Veil out. Um, some number of Blood Moons out. And then actually maybe we keep the Veils. So they just have too many mana creatures. It's just way too easy for them to um, just get me like that. Uh, I think we're pretty happy here. Oh, but they do have Force of Negation, so Veil of Summer is probably worth having in greater numbers. Let's maybe cut... Ooh, we just gotta shave very carefully. Oh, Iron Crag Feet. Let's cut one Iron Crag Feet and one... Uh, recross the paths. So let's try that. Seems wacky and potentially wrong, but uh, we'll find out. We will find out. It's weird, we have literally zero dual lands in this entire deck, which is kind of funny. Hmm. 
Never should cut recross the pads. I mean, it's possible. Pretty sure it's your best card. I mean, it's possible. Uh, okay. So we have turn one tap land, turn two defense grid, turn three. Uh, we need to draw another land somewhere. We're definitely playing defense grid on turn two. I think we don't we don't throw this hand back. It's very close. It's your best card, one hundred percent. All right, fine. So I guess we won't cut it again. My bad, folks. My bad. I haven't gotten to do it yet, so I don't actually have any idea how good it is. Because it doesn't it doesn't do anything on the turn you play it, and then they can just counter your reforge the soul the next turn. So it's like it's not it just doesn't seem that good to me. I'm not saying it's not good. Yeah, I know it restacks your deck. I'm aware it restacks your deck, but like what you're supposed to do with it, it doesn't actually do anything that turn. Okay, turn timber. Shock, yes please. Defense grid. Force me, baby. Force me now or forever hold your peace. All right, so next turn we get to stack our deck, and then the turn after we win. Question mark? Geist. That's a pretty good clock. But is it good enough? I doubt it. On the other hand, if they have um, so, I have to go ritual. Well, I can I can bolt myself to cast recross the pass, or I can go Balagad recovery, ritual manamorphose recross the pass. And since I'm going to miracle next turn. Can I wait two turns? Can I take six twice? I can. Recross, Belcher on top, recross before that. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure what I'm supposed to do is recross the paths and put um, Veil of Summer on top, followed by Reforge the Soul, followed by a sack of seven win that wins me the game. I guess I have iron crag feet. Yes, we want to play around force negation, 110%. That's what I'm doing. Because I have the time to do it, right? So I might as well. So... We play a tap land, play a ritual, play Manamorphose, play Recross the Paths, put Veil on top. Yeah. Or I can Shock the Shatter Skull Sanctuary. Smashing. Shock the Shatter Skull, Shatter Skull Smashing. Play a ritual. No, Shock the Shatter Skull Smashing. Just play Recross the Pass and put Veil on top. And can I then play... No, I can't. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the line I said. So let's play a Mandatory Tap. All right, let's do the other things first. So play this. Play this. Green, red. Draw a card. Sure. Um, play Recross the Paths. Oh, and then I can Shatter Skull and kill the Birds of Paradise. Sure. I really hope the um, Save Manamorphose. That's what I was trying to do, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. All right, so we go um, Veil on top. Reforge the Soul below that. And then, after I reforge, I will have at least two mana. So you can go like one. Oh, we go ritual, ritual, iron crag, belter. And then we can go 
another ritual, a mana morphos, a uh, veil of summer, another belcher, and then just any order of the rest. All right, I think I've done this reasonably correctly. Uh, what? I don't, what, what is it asking me to do? No, we clashed already. So if I keep put, put, uh, clicking put on top, does it? Oh, oh, okay. I just put, oh, this is, it's part of the clash. I forgot that the clash also, I thought the clash was the coin flip one. Yeah, yeah, I get it. All right, got it. Uh, let's play this tapped Balgan recovery. Yeah. Mana Clash. I am thinking of Mana Clash. Uh, actually, let's shock this. Or bolt this. And pick off the bird. Because this limits their mana potentially. I'll just take some off white. Oh shit. We're going to go to one. Oh shit, if they have a uh, Noble Hierarch, we might die. Oh my god. So I, I, I'm assuming I screwed this up. Yep, screwed it up. I'm dead. Because my opponent playing... You definitely screwed it up. This deck is pretty absurd. I mean, I guess... <laughs> yeah, but also my Bant opponent just killed me on turn four. Like, I was not expecting Geist of St. Traff turn two. That's That was disgusting. Like, I, I guess I could have won that, but I, th I, th I think I was playing ar around the right thing in terms of being a novice on the deck. Because, like, I set myself up. Spike has been pushing Geist recently. Well, I'm sure he has. I mean, it's a, it's a very good card, especially if you're playing uh, one mana acceleration. But, I mean, that was just, like, crazy weird. Like, I cannot believe how quickly they were able to kill me. And ironically, um, because I bolted myself to kill their bird, that's why I died. When I was bolting myself to kill their bird to stop them from being able to interact with me. Guys is legendary too, so like, I, I don't know how many they would have had in their list, but I'm, I'm assuming it wasn't a gratuitous number. little soda. Luris, huh? All right. All right. 
Let's see. We don't have any rituals, but we do have a Balakut Awakening. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep this on the draw. We got a lot. We got a reasonable amount of mana going. Valakut Awakening, by the way, seems like a pretty reasonable card in this deck. Is this where Obi-Wan and Anakin fought? I'm pretty sure it is, right? Am I wrong? I'm definitely wrong. Soul Scarf Mage. Yep. Ooh, there's the ritual I was asking for. All right, so... Tangled Veil. And then we go turn to... Turn Timber, Ritual, Belcher, and then hopefully just win the next turn. Depends on how many discard spells they have, but since they just attacked without playing a discard spell first, I'm assuming zero. So let's see if they have an out for turn two Belcher. I miss a life. Oh, because they had the Taylor. Uh, we might die, but... So I need to play untap red? No, I have the spirit guide. So play this, shock it, exile, ritual, belcher. Wait, I don't have an untap land. Huh. Well, let's hope we don't die and we draw an untap land. Otherwise, this is going to be a sad, sad little game. All right. All right. All he needs a lava dart. Turn three kill versus my turn three failure to kill. Let's see it. I'll be back in a second. Alright. Well, we went to probably dead. Let's see if they have anything that can kill me. So, Lightning Bolt kills me super easy. Lavadart kills me super easily. Did they miss? No! Wait, that's not enough. Go to one. Wait, no. Ah, no, it has double strike. I forgot the way team battle rage works. I always assume it basically does nothing if they don't have, um, they don't have ferocious, but it's the trample that it doesn't get. Okay, so bolts and veils again. So, okay, apparently I'm not supposed to cut my recross the paths. Well, I guess defense grid is not very good in this matchup, though. So that's an easier cut. Um, honestly, I hate prowess. Yo, me too, brother. I've been saying it forever. It, I'm just so sick of how often they get turn three kills or tor turn four kills with heavy disruption on Blood Moon. Doy. Uh, we'll keep one, maybe. I feel like I should be, like, mulliganing more aggressively this, this, with this deck, but I don't know. But yeah, I really don't care for prowess. It's just really frustrating. 
mo like a degen there's just there's no recovery in this day. Like, I, I know but you need a lot of resources to actually try to win like we whittled our hand down to a low number of cards all right this hand is pretty good can go turn one blood moon I don't really think that that is something we want to do in this matchup. Sand doesn't go anywhere, does it? Ride the turn one moon or mull. Cobbs with mull. If I cast Blood Moon, I also can't cast Veil of Summer anymore. Unless I have a, a Manamorphose. So let's Mulligan. This hand is much better. Wait, is it? Turn to Manamorphose. Hopefully cast Recross the Paths. We're going to keep this in Bottom of Belcher. Yeah, we gotta pray a little. We gotta pick up uh, a mana source turn two. That's this deck. Not Lenny. Uh, friend? Friend? Good. Okay. Hopefully they take the Belter. They don't realize that Recross the Pass is. Woo! That'll do. So let's go shock this. Pitch a spear guy, play recross the paths. Now I can't I can't put Reforge the Soul on top because um I won't be able to cast it. Oh, I have Manamorphose. But if they go discard on me. I think we're going to go with this similar stack that we did la to last time, but it's just going to work out better for us. I think we're going to put Veil on top and then Reforge the Soul. Um, and then Manamorphose. Just in case... Uh, I have to have a Manamorphose in my hand when... when I draw the Reforge of the Soul in order to cast it off of green green. Maybe we just go Shatter Skull Smashing on top followed by Reforge the Soul. Yeah, that seems good. So play, shock, pitch. So top card, Shatter Skull, then Reforge the Soul, and then a seven stack that wins the game. So um, I'm going to have a total of three mana, and I'll have a land play, um, which I'll need because I'm going to use two on the Reforge, and then I need another untap mana. Preferably red. So that's card one. That gets me to two mana, three mana, four mana. Um, the Iron Crag Feet, Goblin Char Vulture. And then we have a little extra room, so let's go Simeon Spirit Guide, Mana Morphose, Veil of Summer. And then that's fine. All right, top card, put on top. Did I win the clash? I did win the clash. Yes. So next turn we play. We draw Shatter Skull. Play it. Tap. Pass the turn. 
and, or or bolt and uh, and then cast bolt. Um, the most important thing is that we don't cast the Manamorphose next turn because the second card from the top is Reforge of the Soul. We want it to be that way. Please play Kiln Fiend. Crocs. That's funny. Sure. I will not take damage. Hopefully they don't play Surgical. That's the only thing that would really mess me up. Scourge of the Sky players, sure. Play Reforge the Soul. So I could draw an extra card by casting Manamorphose, but that's fine. Okay. Now here's where we find out if I did this correctly. <laughs> did I? Play this. Shock. Pitch Spirit Guide. Oh, the top card is the Veil, huh? Okay, so let's go. Red green, filter for red green. This is basically, yeah, this is the, I mean, I was just sort of doing a little. Oh, no, the mana was in my pool. I mean, it doesn't matter, but. I just I screwed up the play I was trying to make. All right, fire the meme cannon. Cuckoo cuckoo, baby. Stop exploding, you cowards! All right, we done did it. All right, so they've got Scourge of the Skyclave. I think I'm still pretty happy with how I sideboarded. I guess I could bring in Leyline, huh? Let's be let's be real, Dgen. Let's bring in Leyline and let's bring back the Blood Moons, because we can turn two or turn one Blood Moon them. Problem is I don't know what to cut there. I guess Lightning Bolt at this point, but Lightning Bolt is like reasonable interaction. But then again, like, yeah, I think lightning bolt is for something like spell color. Let's just let's just be degenerate and try to cheese the win. One lightning bolt wasn't really going to save us from a prowess deck, right? And they're playing mutagenic growth, so they can save their creatures anyway. Can we talk about how goofy the matchups between um, the Belcher slash Oops All Spell deck in the Mirror is because of the what is it, Undercity Informant or whatever that card is? Uh, Undercity Informer. This is target player. So if you're playing against an Oops All Spells deck, you can shoot them with this and they will lose. That's ridiculous. All right, well, we got the ley line, and we got two ley lines, and no mana. Yeah, I can't keep that. Two pieces of mana, two rituals, blood moon, belcher. Yeah, I mean, this is, it's got all the necessary pieces. I think I pitch one of these rituals, honestly, which feels messed up, but. Put them to five. Unfortunately, I'm now sitting with four ley lines in my deck that I can never cast. But I guess I wasn't casting Veil of Summer with this hand, so... You know, I think this is probably going to be fine. It'll be fine. We're going to be fine. We're not going to be fine. Because they don't have, uh, they don't have Monastery Swiss here. Uh, Soul Sarah Mage, sure. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, oh! Found the green mana. Um, I guess I'd rather have red next turn in case I want to play Spike Field Hazard. But they, they don't play any one toughness creatures, so. All right. 
Let's see if we can make it to turn four without being molested. If we can do that, we win. Crash through, sure. In causation? Nope, another soul storm mage. Yikes. Clearly should have left in the lightning bolts. Obviously should have left in the lightning bolts. Want the tap green. If we draw any piece of mana next turn, we win the game. This deck clearly needs to be playing um, uh, uh, Chancellor of the Tangle. Yikes! Neoform. It does not need Neoform. Oh, is that mana? Did I win? I did win. Got him. Shock, Ritual, Iron Crag Feet, Filter. Woohoo! Let's go home, kid. This stick is my cake. <laughs> Shut up, baby, I know it. Got him. All right, <laughs> this stick is really stupid. I apologize that I'm not higher energy on this. I'm just a little tired. I went for a five mile run this morning and, and then I was uh, I was doing some cooking in the early afternoon and all sorts of stuff, so. MT Gilligan, Gilligan, Gilligan. Turn two mana morphos, but if I draw a piece of mana, I have turn two blood moon, so we're gonna keep this. Jiggy would approve. I know he would in his heart of hearts. Uh, Valkant. Oh no, Junt. Oh, with Naya. Low energy is good. I popped two stitches in the last day. Yikes, dude. Y'all gotta be careful. Okay. Um, well, uh, let's play Shatter Skull Smashing, or Shatter Skull the, the Hammer Pass. Play Mana Morphos. Go green, red, and let's draw a piece of mana. Ooh, big whiff, huh? Yeah, full whiff. Okay, I tried. Need untapped mana now. Night of the Reliquary? Come on. Bone Crusher. Neat. Okay, so... I'm going to take seven next turn. I guess we play Spikefield Cave. Next turn we play Valkid Awakening. And hope that that somehow results in a game win. I haven't hit any Simeon Spirit Guides, so I guess that it could. We're gonna bottom everything but Belcher. And then we could hit like two Simeon Spirit Guides, two Rituals, and, a, and an Iron Crag Feet. Oh, we could also hit uh, any of the, the Bolt Lands in that set of, yeah. Okay, so we're just dead next turn. 
It's not surprising. Turn 5 kill on the beatdown deck. Not surprising. Okay, so Valakut Awakening. We've bought him everything but the Belcher. Okay, draw 7 cards. Bang! Any order is fine. No! Almost there. But definitely dead. Okay. On the plus side, our opponent's uh, archetype generally is probably not going to have a lot of ways to beat us other than stony silence. So, let's bring in or Collector Oof. So let's bring out the Veil, let's bring in Lightning Bolt and the other combo. And maybe Wilt. And don't think I need defense grid because them disenchanting the Belcher doesn't save them. Unless I'm setting up like a, a two-turn two kill. Uh, Blood Moon still seems good. Spikefield Hazard's a land. I really don't want to cut that. Um, maybe we should cut some Blood Moons. One half of this is too much. I don't know if I should have the um, the other combo. Because this gives me a stack that does not require an artifact to win the game. Um, or a Goblin Char Belcher if they have like specifically Pithing Needle. Um, these don't work with Iron Crag feet particularly well. I think because I don't really know what I'm doing with them, I'm going to do it this way. I think if I was uh, more experienced with the deck, first of all, I would know if I'm supposed to sideboard in that direction, but more importantly, I'd know what to, how to stack that. Uh, I am bringing in the Wilts because I'm worried about Stony Silence or Pitting Needle, Lightning Bolt because I'm worried about Collector Oof. But if we get to recross the paths into Iron Crag Feet, we have enough wiggle room to... Um, to, to kill whatever we need to. It's a good opener, right? Tap land. Tap land. This is Manamorphose. We're almost at this Iron Crag feet. It's fine. Not spectacular, but it's fine. Tangled Florahedron. This thing's adorable. This thing actually seems like it's supposed to be like a good card. Like... Seems like it might be good and limited. It's definitely better than, uh, what is it, Recover? Or whatever the uh, uh, original Ravnica block version. Re recollect. Recollect. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, that'll do it. So, turn three, recross the paths. Should be turn four kill. We just want to draw any any land in the next two draws. That's perfect. So, Manamorphose first, just in case we pick up something. Red green. I guess I'll do it again. Or do I want that in my deck? Nah, we're good. Okay. So... Pitch this, play this tapped. Play the recross the paths. So go reforge the soul on top. Followed by, all right. So we have to have um, outs in the stack. So and I also need enough mana. So, seven card stack. So we've got Belcher, Iron Crag. So that's two. 
we're going to be on so I need how many pieces of mana so I'm gonna I'm only gonna have one mana left and so I need a red that's three cards Spirit Guide and a Ritual, sure. It's five cards. And then we'll put Lightning Bolt and Wilt. But I'm not going to have any extra mana to actually do this. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. This deck is surprisingly hard to play. I mean, obviously, I'd, if I'd ever actually watch someone do it, it would be way easier. I'm sure the lines are not that complicated, but this is not a channel for studying about these decks and figuring out what I'm supposed to do. We just run headlong into modern and see what happens. Solid Pride Mage. That, that will not do it. So I think we got that. So let's reveal. So play this. Ouch. One, two. Spirit guide. Ritual. Iron crack feet. Get him! Demand to see life's manager! Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons! Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons! I need to cut that a little bit shorter. Just know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I mean, I love the whole speech, but what's up, basic land shark? All right, let's roll. Let's get him. Whoops. Okay, um, mana, mana, mana. So I don't have triple red, but I'm one red away. And that would include mana morphos. There's so many hits in the deck, I'm gonna keep this. Cause this is otherwise a turn three kill. Opponent leaves or puts together an untapped battlefield forge. Interesting. Or, sorry, Sacred Foundry. Happy Thursday. Well, thank you. This is definitely... They bolt me. Getting right in my face. Just... Pew, bolt ya. Oh. That's a bit rude. Hmm. This is problematic. I am going to have to kill that. Yeah, that's a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, that's a 3-3. Three, three. But I definitely have to kill a Thalia, and if I'm going to do it at any point, I might as well do it now. That's a yikes. So now I need multiple manas. That said, this is... Wait, I can just play the Belcher this turn, right? Now, there is the chance that they kill it on their turn. But I think that's a risk I'm willing to take. All right, Jiggy. We're, we're, we're just going in, baby. 
No fear in the dojo. No fear. You can't kill me. I kill me. Come on, baby. Hold together. Collector oof. Stony silence. That's not gonna do it! Oh. oh no! What is it? It's a tap land, they're dead. Got him! <sighs> oh, it's a good time. Two two ones. Let's get him. Let's get him. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, yeah, we got everything we need. Keep that sucker. Okay, uh, okay. So, Florahedron, last turn. Played versus the stack six or so times the other, lost each time, but I beat it somehow the first time, go figure. Uh, I mean, it, it has a very high fail rate, like just, just on its own. Noble Hierarch, sure. Um, So I want to hit extra land drops. The Simeon Spirit Guides aren't going to matter once I hit the um, Reforge the Soul. So we can go for a turn three kill this game. So we play Balaged Recovery here. No, play turn Timber Symbiosis. No, we play Balaged Recovery here. We go Pitch Spirit, Pitch Spirit. Yeah. And then they just have to have force of negation the next turn. That said, what if I want to try to play around their force of negation? What I should do, I think generally what I should do here is go pitch spirit guide, spike this, sh bolt this, pitch spirit guide, cast, recross the paths. Maybe put um the the um yeah put uh the defense grid on top so let's go exile spike you play this shock it play spirit guide I guess if they had a force, they would have forced there. So put defense grid on top. I can just play that for two. I have the mana morphos, so then we go reforge the soul. 
Um, and we'll have three mana, so we just go a one. So Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide. Ritual, because I'm only going to have one mana. Um, Iron Crag, Belcher. And then we'd be like, Manamorphose and Veil Summer. There we go. Something like that. Let's go any order of the rest. A Clash, put it on top. I won the Clash, I get to keep this card in my hand. It's largely useless. And P.S. the turn. I put the spirit guides on top, which was smart because I'm going to cast Manamorphose and draw one of... Oh, shit. I might have killed myself. We'll see. Because I need to cast this Manamorphose to cast the Reforged Soul, but that's going to add a card to my hand that I... Hmm, play this tapped. Play defense grid. All right. No need to worry about it yet. But I might have screwed this up mightily. Because I put too many um, Simeon Spirit Guides in the stack. Do they have Mana Leak or Remand? Rattle Chains. Ah! Okay. Hmm. Might be able to take the extra turn here. Because I don't think that they can put that much damage onto the battlefield. Take three this turn, and they would need to do 14 next turn, which is, like, pretty much impossible. Let's hope I didn't screw this up too badly. So, uh, we'll reveal Reforge the Soul. But before I cast that, I need to get red mana in my mana pool. Go red, red. Yeah, draw Simeon Spirit Guide, unfortunately. We can exile it now. Cast the Reforge of the Soul. Now I'm going to be one mana shorter than I thought. But I think it's going to be okay. So one, two, three, it's not. Um, the rest of my deck is a random order. I'm gonna have to pass the turn here and just try to win the next turn, unfortunately. But because of the defense grid, I'm not really worried about it. I don't think it's possible for them to do 14 damage this turn. Like if they could play a Lord, but then it stops, like they could play a Spirit Lord, but that's gonna stop their Hierarch from, yeah. So I'm gonna take like four. Uh, there's no way they can cast a Spell Queller. They can cast a Force of Negation, but I'm actually going to have the Veil back up now. So, this actually may have worked it. Well, no, I, I screwed up the stack. I screwed up the stack because I wasn't thinking, yeah, this is fine. I'm going to take six here and be totally fine. No! Oh. And if I had Manamorphosed on that turn, I would have gotten away with it. So let's cast Veil of Summer before the Iron Crag feet. Then we cast the Iron Crag feet. Cast the Belcher. Not that they can interact with me anyway. I have Defense Grid. Pew pew! That's so ratchet. Got him. All right. So spirits. I think we want lightning bolt. Three color spirits, but they have mana creatures. So question is, which direction are they going with their interaction? Like they're going to have spell quellers, so veil is not great against them. And I wonder if I should keep blood moons for that. 
And Lightning Bolt seems great against just generally what they're doing, and Defense Grid does too. Yeah, all right, we're going to rock like this. Again, they're playing white, so Wilt is potentially better than Blood Moon. Maybe if I have time, I'll switch it back. Because actually with, with the Mana Dudes, Dudes and Dudettes, Mana, mana Dorks, uh, we're not super likely to get a block out with Blood Moon. So we should go Blood Moon's out and Wilt's in if I have a second to do it. But Magic Online, of course, always seizes up constantly. It's a great client. That shot on Noble wins you the game. Yep. Sometimes it's the little things. Uh, opponent moles. We have one, two, two mana plus a uh, spirit guide. Here comes the Mausoleum Wanderer. Yeah, that card is very inconvenient. Two target creatures I have blocked. Okay, so Shatter Soul Smashing is an interesting card here. We can use that to attempt to kill one of their creatures, but Mausoleum Wanderer is definitely going to make this very difficult on the draw. Come on, baby. Okay, so... Can play the recross the paths this turn by going bolt into spirit guide. Uh, or we can bolt with Shatter Skull Smashing into Pyretic Ritual. Uh, they could counter it with the Mausoleum Wonder on that one, and that would be fine by me. So let's go Shatter Skull, shock it, play Ritual. See if they mausoleum wander that. Oh shoot. That does not do what I wanted it to do. Maybe yeah, I totally screwed that up. We'll go exile spirit guide. Yeah, we'll cast an iron crag feet. They should mausoleum wander that. Because it only hits instants and sorceries. Oh, weird. Well, um, I can only cast one more spell, so let's cast Reforge the Soul. So I totally goofed that turn because I ritualed for triple red, and then I couldn't play my recross the paths, which is what I intended to do. But, uh, whoops. On the plus side, this should draw me a lightning bolt. Uh, yes, I'll play. Interesting choice, opponent. Okay, that hurts. But on the plus side, I get to go bolt recross the pass next turn. Which I should be able to win the game fairly quickly after that. Well, not quickly, but... Hmm. Let's go tapped defense grid. And then if they have Queller here... We're going to get beat up a little bit on this one. Okay, good. Ooh, Moorland Haunt. Okay. Let's go Spikefield Cave. Cross. 
Just put a Belcher on top, right? Oh, no, I don't have triple red. Put Mana Morphos into Belcher on top. So Mana Morphos, then Belcher. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I need a bolt. Okay. Can I undo on this screen? I can. Okay. So let's go undo, undo, undo. Okay. So let's go bolt on top, followed by Manamorphose, followed by Belcher. And then if the game goes past that point, what will I want? I will want um, probably bolt and bolt. And then um, another metamorphose, another, uh, let's just get an actual red source, an iron crag feet, and then a belcher. Something like that. And then we're back to playing regular magic after that if I have to. Dr. Queller wins the clash with Supreme Phantom. That's fine. That ain't gonna kill me too quick. Good catch, uh, Alex. Thanks for pointing that out. Okay, so I know they're one card in hand, so this this game is over, pretty much. Unless they top deck another oof. Oof, all spells. Okay, opponent, pray. Oof. Oh, they can still draw it. Oh, Horizon Canopies in the uh, Expeditions, huh? That's actually really pretty. It's not as nice as the uh, the original, but it's actually very, very nice. No oof. No oof. You don't have enough sideboard slots. Where we're going, we won't need sideboard slots. Red. Red. Iron Crag Feet. Play a goblin char belcher. Shoot my opponent for four to six. It's all over, people. We don't have a prayer. Ah! Okay, frustrating, but GG's. I I feel you, opponent. I feel you. The crazy thing is that the Belcher deck and the Oops All Spells deck have like very different sideboard cards that you need for them. And then depending on how they prepare um, for your sideboard cards, like they can play a lot of sort of cat and mouse. So this is very much we're getting into a more degenerate phase in modern because of these uh, land cards. The um, modal double face cards. Final match. Okay. <laughs> so I don't have any red. I'm on the play. I'm the play with no red is not good enough. Okay, so I do have red. Multiple untapped lands. Multiple iron crag feats. Is this just turn four win on the play? I'm gonna keep this. It's not great, like it's really, really not, but uh Oh wait, it's <laughs> it's not that thing I said because I don't have triple red to play this iron crag feet. But by the time we get there, I'll figure it out. Oh, it'll, it'll be fine. By the time we get there, it'll be fine. 
Well, green white titan. Okay, they might not be able to kill me before we get there. Also, we found our we found our way to get the red. No. No Thalia. No Thalia. Okay. Whew. So, how do we get them? Obviously, the only thing I need to draw is a ritual. Like, Mana Morphos would do it. Um, oh, they conceded. All right. So, clearly, they had no Thalia, and they had no ability to kill me. So, I think the right way to do that was probably just go Mana Morphos on top and then try to win. Or... Um, uh, Simeon Spear Guide on top and try to win. Um, but it is an interesting... Like, they have a lot of ways that they can beat us there, so we, we did get a little bit lucky. Um, this is the first match where I feel like Blood Moon in the main deck is, like, A-plus locked in. Whereas Defense Grid is, like, meh. Um, I mean, Defense Grid has been meh before, but... Uh, okay. They are in green-white. Um... So I feel like Wilt and Lightning Bolts are where we want to be. If I want to cut one of anything, it's probably one turn Timber Symbiosis. No, that's definitely not right. Uh, one of our... Which green card do we have the lower number of? Tangled Florahedron. Don't you love it when your stitches were put in badly and you want to pour hydrogen peroxide into them and do it yourself because that's where I am. Yikes. Sorry about that, buddy. All right. We're gonna go with this setup. Yay. Do I have mana with this hand? Yeah, I do. And I have the turn one spike field hazard too, potentially. Seems good. If they have a Sakura tribe scout. Keep. Yeah. It's not spectacular, but it's got a turn two recross the paths. Actually, it's really good, right? Turn two recross the paths is like game breaking. And spike field hazard actually can kill Thalia. So, let's go turn one, tap, shatter skull. Because hopefully they kept a hand with like one Thalia. They didn't have anything? Weird. Weird. So let's go shock. Then how do I get more mana? Oh, I guess just monkeys. I suppose if they play Thalia on this turn, it completely messes me up. If I had... Do we just, like, shove all in here? Like, I don't... In the words of the great Marge Simpson... Obviously, if they had a Thalia, they would have played it here. If they had a Collector, they would have played it here. So what we're going to do is go shock this, or bolt this. Go Pyretic Ritual. Nanomorphos. Damn. <laughs> 
can't go up one more mana. Go recross the paths. And our top of our deck will be Reforge of the Soul. Followed by Okay. Um so if they play a Thalia or something that stops me from playing the Reforge, I have plays for the turn. So we're not dead in the water there. And then the turn after, what I'll need is like Spirit Guides. So like Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide. So just go with three mana. Plus Iron Crag. Belcher, Bolt, and Wilt. Okay, I think that'll work. All right, let's enter any order of the rest. Opponent reveal Vesuva. So they can Flagstones. Gaddock Teague. Well, crud. I put the bolt on the bottom of that stack, didn't I? I think that I did. So we just recross the paths again next turn. Sure. So tap spike field hazard. Let's do this again. So I have another mana. So all I need is Bolt. So we'll go on top Mana Morphos to turn my two green into red. Then a Bolt. And then I've won the game, um, in theory. But uh, let's put a Blood Moon under that. And then under that we'll go uh, Red Source, Iron Crag, Belcher. Good to go. All right. The top card was Primeval Titan. I wonder if they can cast it. Reclaimer. Nope. Dread. Okay. So we know the plan. Green, green becomes red, red. Bolt becomes Gaddock Teague's last words. Spirit Guide. Iron Crag. Bilcher. And that is how you get a 4-1 with the meme cannon. Oh, no! Wait a minute. I mean, hello! Got him. All right, good time had. Good time had playing the meme deck. So 4-1, metagame is still not fully, fully, fully uh, adjusted against us. Uh, the first match was against that blue-white stone blade deck that just killed us exorbitantly quickly. Um, but exceedingly quickly, whatever it was. They killed the shit out of us, um, which was weird for a, a Bant deck. Uh, this deck is a lot of wacky good fun. It's not really my cup of tea, but it is certainly fun to play these blast off decks whenever you want. That said, that's all for me tonight. Uh, I hope y'all live and on YouTube in the future are enjoying um, the, the videos that I am putting out when I am putting them out. Um, I'm going to play Uro's Blacklist Dress at some point in the next couple of days. i got to find time.
time. Uh, I may have a little more time than I'm used to having, but I am recording the podcast tonight, which means I'm editing it tomorrow and the next day. So maybe on Sunday or Monday, uh, I'll be back to do a stream. Uh, Magic has certainly been a little bit more fun the last couple of times I've played it. That said, I got to get to all my post stream stuff. So thank you so much for tuning in um, to these uh, couple of leaks and I'll see you guys next.